Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It is time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of left bridge, Alberta, Canada, presenting the challenger, Lover. And now introducing the champion, fighting. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the top. Good punch land. And they are exchanging leather early. Yeah. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Oh, Roundhouse, talk to me about that kick. He is throwing his entire body into that kick to the point that he turns all the way around before he can face his opponent again. Jab by 
Ali. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And he caught the kick. He went high on that one. Just missed with that right hand. Keep your head moving. <laughs> Lee's kick is blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? We march on, three minutes to go. Back and forth we go. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice shot, that's what I'm talking about. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big ball. Now we get back to range. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Punch. All combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. He lands a big knee to the body. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big kick lands. Rips the body there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. All right, single collar tie now. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, nice right hand. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Leg kick. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. So no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach and he made good use of it there. Nice move to punch. Of inches right Damn there, you. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Ten seconds to go. Looking to counter with his left hand, but he misses. Oh. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. What are you doing out there? You have to defend yourself. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Big head kick lands. He blocks the punch. Yeah. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, and he lands yet.
and another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's incoming. Big punch lands through the middle. Went for the inside leg kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Straight punch land. Nice one, two there. Nice body kick. Well, one got through, that kick was dropped. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Looking for that left hand, just missed. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Digging kicks. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Right under the elbow, the body of the plane. Just misses with the jab there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Body kick now by Lee. 30 seconds now to go in the hands round. High, hands high. Nice head kick. 15 seconds. Beautiful. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. This round, we're going to be smart. We're going to cut angles. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel. He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect.
All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. What a punch. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Side. Beautiful body. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big body kick. Nice straight punch. Oh, single collar tie here. And there comes the separation now. Look at him working and trying to shut the limit down. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here. On the He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Lands with the knee to the bottom. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Beautiful punch. Both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. That's a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up right I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your tough. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Punch over the top. Trying to establish that jab once again. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Lands the left punch now, followed by a right. Nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Oh! 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 He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Way to hide that leg. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Lee. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really Overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, 
lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. Beautiful. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to that extra 10 minutes. Flips to avoid the right. Beautiful strike. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. Hip over when he throws that kick. Ooh -wee. Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking clip. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Big head kick lands. Nice strike. Superman punch lands. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Big kick land. Nice counter left there. That strike blocked by Lee. Big leg. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Right under the elbow. Back and forth we go. And he landed the right hand there. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. What a performance. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So they'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 55 seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by knockout and still.
All right, so heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite of heavyweight. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is so volatile.